end of truce. So I'm not gonna be installing the wheel. I'm going to start the car. Oh my goodness. 100 bucks of the wine voucher code. So whoever gonna use it first, do it. Okay. So we're gonna be replacing today the radiator relay, which is located right there. It's right uh, behind the fender. So we're gonna need to remove the wheel and a wheel guard, and then we're gonna reach that part. So if some of you uh, watched the previous video, I replaced the uh, temperature sensor and I did replace the water pump and the thermostat, which is, did not do any type of goods. I mean, I guess this refreshing, but anyway, I messed it up totally because um, I installed the Chinese water pump, check the different video. It's going, the link gonna be in the description below or in the cards right here, because it's kind of interesting to know uh, what you shouldn't do. And of course, never put the Chinese parts on, the, on expensive cars, especially BMW. Shoot the BMW as BMW. Hop under the fender, remove the wheel, remove the guard, and basically replace the duty. to remove the quartz, the front portion. First one, it's T20, I think. Right at the center, we have like eight mil screws. Two, uh, eight mil. BMW like specific pins, so. On the side like completely out and bend it a little bit so whole structure slides down make sure nothing is on the way so right at the top our unit we have two positive cables coming uh, toward our module here and uh, that's what we wanted to do we wanted to disconnect the battery or at least one from under the hood but uh, we definitely need to deal with that. We have to reach the battery in the BMW X5. Pull the negative terminal from the trunk. Two screws here, one is there and two over there. You have your key. Lift the shield. We got a 10 mil nut. Release it and remove the negative terminal from the battery. And just lay it down. Next step is removing the actual box, which is held with two plastic 10 mils. Second one located is right behind the box. You can reach it from the uh, front of the car, I mean from under the hood. One, just make sure you're going to remove the clip with uh, double connectors, which is go to the DME. Be pretty. Okay, and we find our mess up. As you probably can see, the top connector is not uh, fished through the bolt and it's just hanging in there. In a second, I'll explain you what is going on. But yeah, be careful because it's a positive uh, cables and you just want it to be pretty careful. So remove one by one. Oops. What I like to do, one out, one in. It's basically the easiest way to shift them. So the first one, type it up. And uh, I think I have my problem. So my camera is just overheated. And as far as I start untyping in the screw, the basically connector was sitting like that. So it wasn't on the, in the spot. Apparently whoever was replacing it, they did not um, feed the actual connector in the right spot. So uh, what I'm going to do, I just uh, use the sandpaper, clean it up a little bit the connector, and then we're going to install it on the new one. I think that should do the job. Make sure to type it up. Decent pressure, a nice and snug connection. So with that being said, putting our negative terminal back. We hear the pump was prime. So I'm not gonna be installing the wheel. I'm going to start the car and we'll see if the fan spins. Moment of truth. AC. 
is on. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's blasting. So, uh... Hey guys, that was like really long road and basically from removing and installing the new pump, basically I, I replaced the pump, uh, the water pump two times then uh, the actual, I rebuild the thermostat and um, I ends up with buying the temperature sensor and then I replace the actual relay which wasn't connected properly, which was just uh, somebody who ever replaced it before me for the new one. They did not do the proper connection. And after I replaced the pump for the Chinese one, I replaced the light bulbs the day after and all this stuff is started like going wrong. I mean, I, I drove the car for a couple of weeks. I had that message like uh, your fan activation uh, isn't going, working okay. Fan sometimes pop on like on a higher speed than just not working or so. And there was a disaster. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, please put the thumbs up button there, subscribe my channel and leave me a comment below. Whoever gonna use first, just, you have it. I kind of don't drink wine or I don't spend that much money for wine. It basically, it's $60. You're getting $160 pack for $60, bucks, which is great. So, anyway, I'll see you next one, guys.